water. It's everywhere. 71% of Earth's surface is covered in water, but only 1% of Earth's water is fresh and accessible. 1% to use and reuse, day after day, year after year. This means the rain you see is the same rain that fell on the dinosaurs. The water you drink is the same water used by prehistoric plants. You are not the first person, animal or plant to use this limited amount of fresh, accessible water and you will not be the last. So how is this limited resource found in our lakes and rivers, used for drinking and flush down the toilet, connected? The answer is through our waterways. Drinking water, wastewater, and storm water are all one water. Follow along as we take a one water journey through Fairfax County. Our one water journey will start with storm water. Storm water is quite simply the water from a storm. When it rains, some of the water soaks into the ground through pervious surfaces like forest floors or grassy fields and becomes groundwater. Groundwater slowly feeds our streams and lakes. But when it rains on impervious surfaces, like parking lots, roads, or houses, the water runs off these surfaces. We call this stormwater runoff. As stormwater runs over land, it can pick up pollutants like trash, soap, salt, and harmful bacteria from pet waste. This polluted runoff often goes down a storm drain through stormwater pipes and directly into our local streams and lakes. All streams in Fairfax County eventually flow into the Occoquan Reservoir or the Potomac River where it becomes a source for drinking water, the next stop on our one water journey. Source water enters Fairfax Water's treatment plant to remove contaminants such as dirt, solids, and bacteria. First, large particles are clumped together and settled out of the water. Then, the water is filtered through activated carbon removing pollutants too small to see. Finally, a small amount of chlorine is added to prevent bacteria growth before the water arrives at your home. Scientists in our state-of-the-art lab continuously monitor the water to ensure we meet or surpass both state and federal regulations for water quality. If you want to see this data, check with your local water utility or look at the public reports we issue each year. Now that the water is treated, it is ready to be transported to homes and buildings. Our engineers design and oversee construction of our infrastructure, which is located mostly underground. This infrastructure includes pipes, valves, pumping stations, and water storage tanks that deliver water to you. Our maintenance staff ensure that system pipes are working properly and take care of repairs, no matter the day, time, or weather. It takes a team of dedicated employees to ensure water is there for you and ready to use when you turn on the tap. And we are always using water to clean dishes, wash clothes, take showers, and of course, go to the bathroom. After water is used, we begin the journey of wastewater. Wastewater is water from homes and businesses that goes down toilets or drains and enters the sewer system. Wastewater is collected and transported through a series of underground gravity sewer pipes and pump stations to one of the region's five advanced wastewater treatment plants. Wastewater generated in the southern part of Fairfax County will arrive at our county-owned Noman M. Cole Jr. Pollution Control Plant for treatment and monitoring. This advanced wastewater treatment plant removes over 40 tons of pollutants, such as nutrients, metals, harmful bacteria, and particulates every day. After treatment, the clean water, or final effluent, is released in the Pohit Creek, which eventually flows into the Potomac River. Noman Cole's Certified Environmental Monitoring Laboratory performs extensive analyses each day to evaluate the effectiveness of the advanced treatment processes, ensure state and federal regulations are met, and help identify potential threats to our infrastructure and the environment. Our team of wastewater professionals work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year to maintain our wastewater infrastructure, provide reliable sewer service to residents in Fairfax County, and protect our environment by releasing clean water to our local streams. As water is released into our local streams, our one water journey comes back to stormwater. 
Fairfax County's wastewater treatment plant helps protect our local streams by controlling how fast clean water is discharged, which helps to prevent erosion downstream. Excessive erosion, caused by too much water moving too fast, is a significant problem in many of Fairfax County's streams, making them unstable, destroying freshwater habitats, and even damaging utilities, trails, roads, and houses. So where is this extra water coming from? As Fairfax County continues to grow, we add more impervious surfaces like roads, houses, and parking lots, which take away the pervious surfaces available for rain to soak into, and leads to an increase in the volume and velocity of stormwater runoff. To help protect our streams and other natural resources from excessive erosion and pollution, Fairfax County has a team of scientists, engineers, and field workers who design, implement, and maintain stormwater management practices. Stream restorations physically reshape eroded channels so they can handle increased amounts of stormwater runoff. These restorations reduce the amount of dirt moving downstream, protect infrastructure, and recreate habitat for our wildlife. Stormwater ponds temporarily capture water by acting like a bowl and then slowly releasing it over time. Some ponds have planted basins, where plants take up some of the excess nutrients in our water. There are also thousands of smaller stormwater management facilities on our landscape, like rain gardens, pervious pavements, and green roofs that help soak up the extra water and remove some of the pollutants in stormwater runoff. The next step of this journey begins with you. By understanding how water travels through the one water cycle, you can be a good environmental steward. Litter and pet waste belong in the trash can, not on our ground or in our water. This trash is harmful to our wildlife and unsightly. Fats, oils, and grease can cause sewer backups in your homes or sewer overflows in the environment. Can it, cool it, and trash it. Wipes, even flushable wipes, and other items that do not dissolve can cause sewer backups and may result in costly repairs. Put trash in the trash can. Streams do not need soap to be clean. Soapy water harms our wildlife. Wash your cars away from storm drains or take it to a commercial car wash where soapy water is sent through the wastewater treatment process to be cleaned. Extra salt left on impervious surfaces washes into streams and rivers as snow and ice melts. This can turn our freshwater streams into salt water, making freshwater fish sick. Sweep up extra salt from the ground. Most importantly, don't forget that this water is your water to use and reuse. Small changes you make now will ensure clean water now and in the future. Thank you for joining us on our One Water Journey. To learn more, please visit our website at fairfaxcounty.gov slash publicworks slash waters journey.